Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you the gaming performance on the brand new Honor Play. Now those of you who follow me, you must have seen a few videos on the channel already. If you haven't guys, please do check them out. However, in this video we'll be specifically talking about the gaming performance. We'll play a few titles and at the same time we'll also be testing the temperature with the heat gun to see if the phone heats up. Of the few days that I've tested so far, the phone has been really good. A performance hasn't been a problem because it's got a top end chipset, the Kirin 970 comes with 4 gigs of RAM and also at the same time a big 6.3 inch massive IPS LCD screen. Also it's got a 3750 milliamp battery. It's advertised by Honor as a gaming phone. That means big battery, big screen, big specs. Are those big specs really worth the money? 279.99 pounds in the UK? Let's find out. Now when you open the phone up for the first time guys, these are the games which are installed by default. As for Nitro, Kingdoms, Dragon Mini and a few others, however I chose to have my own games. Uh, one of them was a request by one of my subscribers, he asked me to play PUBG, so I thought okay we'll do that. Also a few of you also asked for Asphalt 9 which I did and also Tekken, one of my own titles because I like fighting games. So we'll play these three games for about approximately an hour guys, uh, you obviously you won't be seeing the whole one hour. But I will show you small clips every now and then uh, showing the performance of the phone at the same time like I said also uh, testing the heat management on the phone. So without any further ado uh, let's quickly get started. So the first title is PUBG. By the way I'm fairly new to the game I only played it for the last couple of hours just to get to know the basics so please do excuse me if I get killed but the whole purpose is to show you how good the performance is on a longer span and at the same time also the heat management on the phone so let's have a quick look It looks like the session is about to start, so crack on. Okay. This is the C-130, so we're gonna apparently jump from it and then make our way down on the ground to have a live battle with people playing online. Go, tap on jumping. And the graphics are pretty nice, not looking too bad. Okay, so now let's release the parachute. There we go. And the volume is at max. Yeah, small tiny speaker here. I tell you what, when it comes to uh, those simple plain text message notification and things like that, it's really loud. But when it comes to gaming in general, listening to music, it's not as loud to be honest. Go. We are now on ground. You can find items in the building. Okay, so let's have a look see that's the map on your right hand side so i'm going to probably most likely follow my partners and my team oops getting fired already damn oops. somebody's after me already oops oops come on run jay run come on Jeep. So let's see if I can drive it. Tap the vehicle to drive operator. Okay, let's go back. Probably get over here, get off here, the jeep, exit, okay, let's get out, got some houses, so hopefully I can find some weapons in here, maybe from the side, there we go, okay, maybe some weapons here, no, yep, yeah, got some bullets here, so let's go for the go up, see if you can find something up there.
Yep, yeah, finally got something. There we go. So, we got something at last. Let's pick up a gun in here as well. Fantastic. We've got plenty of luggage, plenty of uh, firepower now. So, there we go. They're out there. Can't see them. So, let's go down and join the show. Be part of the show instead of being hiding here. Oops, 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 oops. Gone. Yay, my first kill. Not looking too bad. Oops. And my second kill. Wow, that's not looking too bad at all. So it's been nearly about, uh, I think, 10 minutes now into the gaming, guys, I guess. Yeah, approximately around 10 minutes. Just under 10 minutes, so let's play for a couple of more minutes and then we're gonna check the heat management on the phone. It looks warm though, phone. I can feel it. Oops. Being shot upon. Oops. Oops. Well, I can't see this guy, where is he? Okay, it's getting really intense. There you go, I can see somebody there trying to kill me. That guy, probably this him. Hey, gotcha, baby. <laughs> Three kills, not too bad, Jay. Only second time on PUBG. I don't play these kind of games mostly, guys, but still not doing too bad at all, am I? Okay, so let's quickly check the temperature before somebody kills me. All right, so at the front of the screen, after 10 minutes of PUBG, it is around 34, 35, 36 degrees Celsius. So 37 there as well. Okay, so at the front, oops, I knew that somebody was going to come and kill me. Four kills! Not bad, Jay. Plenty I got from this guy. So, not looking too bad. So also now, quickly, whilst I do this, let's have a look at the temperature on the back as well. Okay, around the top here on the camera. 35. 35 still. 35 all the way across. So, not looking too bad. 36 around top around the camera here. So normally the heat is, but looking very very nice so after nearly 10 over just over 10 minutes of pubg so far uh, no issues from what i can okay, see now so. on to tekken and let's have a look and see how it affects the heating so we can actually play a couple of rounds and see how it goes Oops, I've got a hit. Big one. Not out. Uh, there we go. Okay, so after gaming about, about five minutes on Tekken as well, let's have a quick look and see what the temperature is like at the front and the back of the on replay. So looking at the front, once again, the same around as it was on PUBG, 35, 36, 37. Has increased just a little bit at the front top end here 34 35 36 
and also at the back is where the metal is there the metal tends to heat up and also tends to cool down quicker as well so let's have a look around the camera a bit 35 35 35 36 36 and 36 max so mind you i've been giving uh well before uh, this video as well for over half an hour then uh, 10 to 20 minutes of pubg again about five minutes of tekken and so far uh, after approximately an hour of gaming on our play is not looking too bad So before we end this, let's again quickly have a look. So the temperature still remains around 36, 37. So excellent heat management by Honor. They have uh, done really well with this phone. It's called the Kirin 970, like I said, a four gigs of RAM, massive 3,750 milliamp battery and excellent heat management system from what I can see so far. Okay, so now time for Asphalt 9. This is the newest version of Asphalt. So let's play this for about 5-10 minutes and see how this goes. This game is slightly more heavier than Tekken, so it will be a good test. Okay, so nearly five minutes of asphalt nine. So let's have a quick look and see what the temperature is like. All right, so looking at the front of the screen then, around 37.6. Uh, like I said, it was going to be a little more difficult than Tekken. So it's a bit more heavy game, asphalt nine, also a new game as well. So not looking too bad. Okay, so the front, like I said, around 37 degrees Celsius. Back as well, 36.7, 36, 36, again, 37, 36. So as you can see, it's been nearly an hour of gaming now, two games before this, this is the third one, and also gaming before the video, and so far, no heat management issues with uh, Honor Play whatsoever.
Okay, so after gaming for approximately 10 minutes on uh, Asphalt 9, we're gonna have a final look and see how the temperature is like on the phone. So as you can see at the front, 36, 37, 38, just a little bit more. And this is after an hour of gaming in total. Even before the video, like I said, I was gaming for a while and it doesn't look too bad at all. I don't see any reason why this phone should heat up. It's got excellent heat management by Honor, so not looking too bad. So Huawei's sub-brand Honor seems to be doing really well, giving us some nice, powerful handsets for half the price of a flagship phone. This phone in the UK sold for 27999 guys, and from my side, as far as gaming is concerned, this handset is fully recommended. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And like always, please subscribe as it helps, and I shall see you in the next video.